welcome back to my channel this is african bella the real talk if you're new you're also welcome to this channel we always make videos about relationships and life experiences in general i got a question from one subscriber she wanted me to do a video on how i met my beloved husband and for those of you who are wondering how i got to italy today is the day i am going to tell you how i met my husband how i got to italy so let us start so friends it reached at a point i was done with relationships i was done with dating i said to myself maybe relationship isn't for me so i said if god brings the right man then that's okay but for me concentration on relationships done 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 so there is this good friend of mine that i used to chat with she lives in italy and she knew all my problems in relationship my failures so she knew everything you know girls we share <laughs> if you have a friend that you trust you share so one day i got a message from this friend of mine and she told me there is the man that she knows and this man wants a black woman a woman from africa so she told me maybe i should connect you to this man you start chatting and maybe you can be friends if you don't like him as a, a boyfriend you can be only friends i said okay so he connected she connected us we started chatting every day knowing each other slowly by slowly but before meeting me or before starting chatting with me he had a plan to come to tanzania to climb my mount kimanjaro so after three months of chatting my husband came to tanzania but he came to climb mount kimanjaro and also meet me so his flight went straight to kimanjaro and i was living in dar es salaam so i arranged my trip after him arriving he arrived like today then the next day i arranged my trip to kilimanjaro i took a bus and i was very curious to know this man i was nervous so i arrived i informed him that i have arrived i booked another hotel i did not go to stay in his hotel because he was the new person to me a stranger so i stayed in another, another hotel and i told him i had arrived and we arranged on how to meet he told me he will come at my hotel at 8:30 in the evening so i started preparing myself you know girls putting on makeup choosing the dress to put on the first date <laughs> so i even forgot myself it went almost to 9 Then I went downstairs at the reception. I sat there and started waiting. But you know the funny thing? He had arrived long time at 8:30 he arrived and went to to the restaurant. So I waited there looking here and there I could not see him. I said maybe he was a scammer. Maybe my friend lied to me. I was I was I started to regret why I spent my time coming to meet this man. Then after so long, then I saw this gentleman going downstairs. Tall. He went straight to the receptionist and asked if they have a client by my name. Then I was like, "I'm here. <laughs> It's me." <laughs> then he turned, then we hugged. It was the very beautiful moment of my life. I was so happy. So we went upstairs in the restaurant. We sat there all the dinner, we ate, we talked, to talk to till 2 at night. Then he decided to go back to his hotel and I went back to the room. And he told me he will come the next day. at 8:15 for breakfast so that is the first time that i met my beloved husband so he came the next day the time he said he really respected time he came we went for breakfast we talked 
we walked around the whole day we spent together then it was time for him to go because the next day he was going to climb the mountain so we had to say goodbyes i was very very sad and he was sad too because we connected there was chemistry so we said goodbye and he said we'll continue chatting don't worry so that's it and he went then when he returned to the mountain he sent me a message and said i arrived i reached the uhuru peak and i was happy i congratulated him then we continued chatting then it was time for me to go to italy one day he told me are you ready to come and see my life how i live here i could not believe it <laughs> but of course i said yes i am ready so he invited me i started the visa process it was the horror one because i was denied visa in the first time then i had to apply again then i got my visa i came to italy and i found him at the airport <laughs> with two crowns one for him and one for me because he used to call me my queen and i call him my king so i found him with that crown with those crowns holding them i laughed a lot i was happy new environment and it was the very best time so we went to where he lived he took me to where he lived but in the car i was a bit worried because it is the new environment yes i met this man but for only one day now i am going to stay with this man because my visa was for one month that i don't know i was a bit scared but i took the risk because my intuition told me that he is the good man he is the right man so we arrived he prepared for me lunch because it was lunch time i ate and i was really shocked that i found every woman essentials ready for me waiting for me <laughs> i was very happy i felt i felt peace in myself i felt that i have found the man that i really wanted so this one month period passed so fast because we had a lot of activities together it was just like one week <laughs> we went to alps to see snow where i come from snow isn't normal so it was a new thing for me i went to the museum he took me to his sister she introduced me to his sister and i was welcomed very well he also took me to where he sings because he has this hobby of singing so sometimes he sings you will see one clip there <laughs> when i was dancing so i met these friends of his they treated me well they we interacted very well i was so happy and my flight to go back home was 15th of february so a day before was valentines we spent some quality times together and we went to the movie we watched the movie after the movie we went for a walk we took ice cream then we sat down started talking he told me how he was worried that if i go back he's scared i might meet another man that will promise me the world then i forget about him but i told him don't worry i took this huge risk from africa to europe to meet you a man that i was connected by a friend a man that i met only one day this means a lot this means that i'm serious and i love you he was happy so we went back home we cut the cake we enjoyed valentines and we slept so at around two at night my flight was six in the morning at around two i woke up reality hit me i started crying and re i started recalling all my past relationships how i suffered a lot then 
I thought maybe if I go back, then this man will forget about me. Everything will be like a dream. Maybe I was dreaming. And he woke up and told me, no, don't cry because you make me sad. I am sad too, you're going. I want you to stay. But I had to go back because I was still working at that moment and my visa was only one month. So he assured me that he wants to start a family with me. He loves me and we connect a lot. We have chemistry. So we enjoy each other's company. So I went back home very sad. I remember I cried again at the airport, much. So I went back home, continued with my life. We continued chatting much every day and Skyping every weekend. After three months again, that is when we decided to get married and start family. We have one baby girl, she's one year and a half. I'll put her photo here so that you can meet her too. That is how I met my husband. That is my love story. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed our love story. And <laughs> please, if you have any other questions, you can ask. Don't hesitate at all. I am here for you. That is why I decided to make this channel to help you around. Yes, I don't know all, but I am ready to share the experience I have. I am ready to help you in relationship based. So don't hesitate at all. Please share, like this video, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Also, don't forget to comment. What do you think? Until next time, ciao!